What's up guys, doing a video today on the DeWalt portable power station. Picked this thing up the other day. Uh, I bought the full kit here. Comes with the uh, battery charger slash inverter as well as four DeWalt batteries uh, under 500 bucks. It gives you a 60 volt flex volt, three, four amp, uh, 20 volts as well. Um, this thing is badass. Obviously, it's a battery charger. If you are like me, got a lot of DeWalt's, a lot of batteries, a lot of chargers, a lot of tools that you run, and you wanna charge your batteries all at once, it works great. It also works as an inverter. This thing can run pretty much every power tool out there. It inverts to 3,600 peak watts. So we're gonna test a bunch of tools today. A table saw, see if it'll run that. A couple of compound miter saws. We're gonna test a shop vac, air compressor, tile saw, and uh, see what it runs and what it does not run. We're also gonna just cut a bunch of lumber, see how many cuts we can get out of uh, two by fours and four by fours before uh, these batteries drain out. So let's uh, get right to it and check out how this thing works with power tools. Now this thing is super simple to use, very basic. Pull it out of the box. You've got your charger and your inverter. You've got your four batteries. Plug your batteries in like that. To charge it, you grab an extension cord. Plug an extension cord in there, plug it into the wall, wait about two hours, these lights will blink. Once it's fully charged, they'll be solid. Again, about two hours for a full charge. After that, it's ready for use. You've got an on and off button. Turn it on, plug a tool into it, and there you go. You can uh, cut a bunch of... All right, let's test this uh, portable power station DeWalt inverter out and see what it runs. We'll start with a 10-inch uh, compound miter saw. Plug it in. Turn it on. Let's see if it runs. Not a problem. All right, let's try the bigger 12 inch DeWalt compound miter saw. Now keep in mind, I did a video on the Harbor Freight 2000 Predator generator and that generator, the 2000 watt inverter generator could not even run this at all. So let's see if this DeWalt does. Plug it in. problem at all that's impressive all right let's try a shop vac and an air compressor now keep in mind this thing is silent super light powering all of these power tools so let's check this out here try the shop vac Not a problem. Air compressor. Try a tile saw and a table saw. Not a problem at all. Last, let's try a table saw here.
not a problem. As you can see, this thing is amazing. DeWalt portable power station, inverter. Now let's uh, cut a bunch of lumber, see how many cuts it can make before these uh, batteries drain out. Now keep in mind, easy way to test how much juice you've got. Pull a battery, take a look. We've got full bars. So we'll see uh, how long it takes to drain these batteries. All right, so let's see how uh, long it takes to drain these batteries out. Uh, I'm gonna cut some two by fours, some four by fours. Uh, just gonna make as many cuts as I possibly can to see if you can drain them out. I've checked them, they're all full, even after all the tool testing that we just did. So uh, let's see how long it'll take to drain these batteries. All right. After about 150 cuts, ran out of lumber. Uh, let's take a look at these batteries. I think it's kind of hot. Not too bad though. Two out of three bars. Let's make sure they're all the same. Two out of three. Flex volt. Three out of three. So yeah. You can run saws on a job site all day long with this. Um, I'd imagine it can cut, to, it can make from five, six, seven hundred cuts with uh, two by four and four by four. So, yeah, this thing is a beast. This DeWalt portable power station can run as many tools as this uh, 3200 watt inverter generator. This generator is heavy, it's loud. This inverter is uh, light and silent. Only difference is you've got to charge these batteries up. Uh, it can run an array of power tools and it can make a heck of a lot of cuts. Uh, definitely keeping this thing. Uh, this is going into our toolbox. Thanks guys.